Creo AI versus NVIDIA, honest review, which one is better for video creation? Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be comparing all the basic features as well as the pricing of both of these amazing AI video platforms because now we know that it is the world of AI and we can create amazing videos using AI. So what exactly can both of these platforms create and which one should you be opting for? Let's get started with how our basic setup is going to look like. Starting off with Creo AI, this is their dashboard. So if you head on over to Creo AI, this is their website. And you can click on Try Creo Now on the top right to get started. You can proceed with creating your account and you can just use Google or your email address to get started. Once you do that, you're just going to pick out the email address that you want to be using and you can click on continue over here to proceed. Once you click on continue, you will see this is what your dashboard looks like. Now, once you have created your account on the left, you will have a folder for your projects. Then you have your exports and then you have your assets. Then in your home section, you can click on start editing to choose a plan and then you can proceed. Keep in mind that that there is no free version of Creo AI. So if you are someone that is looking to experimentally use some of their video editing features, you are not able to do so without purchasing. However, when you take a look at some of these types of template project, let's say I want to build a uh, Reddit story video, or if I want to build a fake text video, I can directly click on this and proceed. You can even see they even have a generate AI image, create chat GPT like image videos, as well as the YouTube video download so you can type in your prompt over here and you can make your stories with these types of image videos. You can generate your story like so. And then after that, this has written down our video script. Then you can click on next and you can choose the font style that you want to be using. Then you can click on next and choose your background video. There are a bunch of different games over here. I want to be using one of these slime videos or the soap cutting videos because I really like them. And then I'm just going to click on next. And then we have a few different voice or background musics. So we have our intro voice as well as our script voice. Starting off, we have William. Now I have a bunch of different options and I prefer Dan Dan because this is something that's very lightweight. You can choose to also change the style exaggeration from the right. You can choose the voice stability, voice volume, and voice speed. Once you have completed this, you can click on generate and then you can proceed with your plan. Now, if you choose the hobby plan, you only have the ability for 40 minutes of exports per month, which can be pretty short. Whereas their Clipper plan creates two hours of exports with 150 AI videos per month and their pro plan starts at $79 per month with three hours of exports and 250 AI videos. Now, what if we compare this to the platform of NVIDIA AI, which is also really popular? To get started, you can click on Try NVIDIA AI on NVIDIAAI.O. And once you do that, you can proceed with your account or you can create your account using Google or Apple as we previously did. So we are just signing up with our Google account to have a quick and easy sign up. Now, once we've done that, we can proceed on to our next step. And for this, we are just going to proceed with our topic. Now, there are a few different variations of this. We have V2, V3, V1 as well, and V4 is our most latest model. Let's say I want to build, you have a UGC ad, you can clone yourself, you can build workflows, create a short video. And then I want to build a very fast paid YouTube short video about how to, or about psychology and the settings the language is english the voice actor is a californian accent and then you can choose the stock and i only want to use stock me media generated images generated clips and then i can click on proceed click on generate my video and now it is going to create my video for me now this is where in video is going to differ significantly from using creo Creo specializes in building certain content types, whereas NVIDIA can turn any idea into life. Let's say I want to create a clip of a girl walking. NVIDIA AI does have the capability to create something along those lines, 
Whereas if I was to try to do this on Creo, you can see you do have the new project option, but you can create, you know, chat GPT like image videos, but you do not have an actual video generator that is powered by Creo. You can build a video in the form of an image sequence, but your image sequence is again going to be a bunch of images. Whereas you guys can see that in video does have the innate capability of creating full videos. So in terms of usability, it truly is going to be different different for different users because different users are going to want different things and when you're wanting these different things it is going to highly impact which tool you're using you guys can see we have to choose to proceed and we have audiences general viewers i can proceed with my credit and again you do have to subscribe to use one of their platforms but you can see on the bottom left you can create 10 minutes of free content non-generative edits premium generations eye stock as well as storage and exports so you will see some usage and you can purchase credits separately after you have run out of credits on your own plan. Now within this you have a media library, you have generative a clip section where you can view what other people are creating. And this just gives you an idea of what type of content can be created using their platform. Now, additionally, you might also want to opt in for some of their other features, which includes using in video for creating text to clip, text to image, photos to clip, as well as text to clip, and they even have a preset library. Now, this is where Creo AI is going to be, you know, significantly behind because it only has these basic templates and after that you are not able to maybe create a video from a clip you know swap faces so those types of more complicated ai based features are limited now what about pricing let's say you only want to create maybe reddit story videos or fake text videos which you can do both on nvidia as well as creo then pricing is going to be a major factor so Creo has three plans, Hobby, Clipper, and Pro, starting at $13, and this is on their yearly. So if you choose to pay monthly, you're going to be paying $19.39 and $79. And if you take a look at the voiceover minutes, you have $30 on the Hobby, $120 on the Clipper, and $180 on the Pro, and the export amount, as well as the AI video credits. Now, if we were to compare this to InVideo, and we are going to compare monthly plans, it starts at $35 a month and goes up to $1,000 a month and at $35, $60, and $120. Now, you guys will see the pricing is pretty close because if you take a look at, you know, Hobby Clipper and Pro, and then you compare this to maybe even just a plus plan on in video, it gives you 50 video minutes and 60 iStock with two UGC product assets, 60 seconds of generated video. So with 50 minutes of video, this is comparable to the hobby plan. And then the max, which is $60 per month, gives you 200 minutes of video, which is going to be comparable to their pro plan. When it comes to pricing, I definitely do think that if you're looking to create content like Reddit story videos, split screen videos, or generate voiceovers or fake text videos, then Creo AI is best because the pricing on Creo is going to serve you a bit better. Whereas if you're looking for generative videos, which means that you're looking for truly AI generated videos that people are creating that have become really popular, you know, videos like these. If you want to create these types of videos that are truly AI generated and, you know, truly come from scratch, then I would say that you should be using NVIDIA instead, even at the higher price point. Both are pretty decent AI tools that can help you in optimizing your video creation. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. And if you guys did find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. If you have any questions or any queries, you guys can leave those in the comments down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.